Unicorns and glitter and taxidermy critters are just some of the things they like. They also enjoy 80s hair bands, Grizzly Adams and John Goodman, so if you think that's weird then you can take a hike. But the things they enjoy the most are making art and cracking jokes. So without further ado, here are your hosts. You've got your two artsy gals, your two artsy gals. Here are your two artsy gals. You're listening to Two Artsy Gals, where your hosts make talking and learning about mixed media arts and crafts feel a bit like sitting in the back of the classroom with those smart-ass kids that always got sent out to the hall. Uh, This is a new feature. We're going to start doing this regularly now, just putting all of our contact information and show announcements at the beginning of the show. We'll do a new one of these every month. Uh, This one, we recorded over the one Lonnie and I did together, so it's just me doing it by myself. Um, You can email us with any ideas, comments, or questions about the show at 2rcgals at gmail.com. You can also call and leave a voicemail at 503-395-7190. And we have a new feature on our Facebook page, which is 2 Artsy Gals. Uh, You can click call us from the page and leave a message too. I'm assuming that'll work on your cell phone. Or mobile device, I just don't know because I did it from my computer. Anyway, call or email us. Send us pictures of your craft projects. Uh, tell us about cool things that you're doing or give us ideas or whatever. We want to hear from you. Uh, this is a 100% listener supported show and we are kind of trying to beef up our monthly budget. So we're introducing this month a Patreon account, which is kind of a way that we're trying to make it easier for our listeners to support us monthly on a small scale rather than having to beg you guys for money a couple times a year on a large scale. There are several different support options between 5 and $45 a month, and there are silly little rewards that you will get for doing so. Uh, you can connect to that through our website, uh, which is twoartsygals.com. And in the sidebar, you will see the Patreon logo and you can click that and go straight to our Patreon account. But also if you just want to search for us, we're Two Artsy Gals on Patreon. Uh, you can also support the show by doing a one-time donation through PayPal if you'd like. You can also set it up as a monthly donation through PayPal. There's a donate button on the site. Uh, we have an Amazon wish list too. If you don't want to donate money, but you would like to support the show, uh, we keep a wish list of products that we would like to try out for you guys and do a show episode about. So you can go to, uh, click through to our Amazon wish list and I don't know, get us some crazy cool markers or whatever else is on there. I don't even know what's on there right now. We update it uh, probably once a season or so, which is once every three months, just to try to get some of the stuff that we want to talk about on there. And hopefully we can get some of that either through the Patreon account, which will give us a monthly budget or through your generous donations, which we always appreciate. You can also buy two artsy gals gear on our site. We get a small portion of that. We're kind of trying to figure out a different right now. We're using cafe press, but we kind of want to figure something else out. So that'll just change. We'll let you know when it does, but you can click buy two artsy gals gear uh, on our website too. And it'll put you through to our cafe press store uh follow us on all the social medias we're on all of them like i said we're on facebook we're on twitter we're on instagram we're on pinterest we're two artsy gals on all of them so you can go ahead and do that there you can follow or subscribe to the show through itunes uh, so you have a fresh episode in your ear holes as soon as it's posted in your mobile device or whatever every single week Uh, You can also subscribe to us through uh, Stitcher, the Stitcher apps, and now through the Podomatic app where you can listen to our podcast as well as uh, many, many, many other awesome Podomatic podcasters. 
Uh, so I think that's everything. Oh, next month is going to be a big month for us. We have our birthday, second birthday slash 100th episode up, coming up. And <clears throat> we want to do a big FAQ for all of you listeners. So that's going to be the episode. So if you have well, you're any burning questions about me or about Lonnie or about the show, anything you want to know, seriously, no holds barred. Uh, email us and we will answer your questions on the show. You can even ask them on our voicemail also, which is again, 503-395-7190. This is kind of crazy. I'm going to stop talking now so that you can listen to the rest of the show. Hey everybody, this is Katie. And this is Lonnie. And you're listening to Two Arts of Gals. Yay! There we go. That's better. Okay. I don't know. Lonnie and I were having some sound. They weren't difficulties yeah we were just being picky yeah we're just too enthusiastic we are we don't want to hurt your little ears I always with wonder, your little like, earbuds if we're like i think we're the only podcast i've ever heard that yells at the beginning of their podcast <laughs> i know well there's one i listen Oops. to where they always go woo at the okay, beginning well, that's good yeah they do who does the woo i want to hear them um one bad mother oh, i'm gonna have to listen to them no. yeah they're fun because they woo yeah I like people who are as enthusiastic about shit as we are. Yeah. Because, you know. Because it's, you know, it's all, it seems rare. I know. Or like I've been accused of being weird Dude, when I get too I enthusiastic. Dude, I have always been called a spaz my entire mm-hmm. life. People called me a spaz. I remember one time my friend Heather Scarwold, when we were kids, told me that her mom didn't want me to stay the night anymore because I was spazzy and hyper. Aww. And it really hurt my feelings. Yeah. Because in my house, I was just enthusiastic. Yeah. Like, nobody complained about me being spazzy or hyper. I was just enthusiastic. That's right. Gung-ho. I was gung-ho about shit I liked. Yeah. Like, I still am. Yeah, me too. Lonnie, you know what I'm gung-ho about? Oh. Sorry, I was playing with things and got them stuck. (laughs) I'm sticking her pencil in things. I'm sticking my pencil in holes. (laughs) (laughs) I'm gung-ho about sparkly, shiny things. Yeah. I love sparkly, shiny things. Mm Mm-hmm. And you know what makes things sparkly and shiny? What? Metal leaf. Oh, man. That like, sounds fancy. Yeah, it is. Yeah? It's awesome. So, like, I'm going to call it gold leaf for the rest of this episode. But okay. I wanted to say metal leaf when I introduced it because it does not come in gold alone. Like, Can you get silver? You can get silver leaf, Ooh. which, quite frankly, I prefer because... I know, I'm a silver I don't person. like gold. Yeah. I rare sometimes I like gold. But yes. usually I dislike gold. Because I don't know. Silver's prettier. Yeah, do they do copper leaf? They do. Cool. A lot of leaf. I'm okay. gonna go down the list momentarily. Okay. Because there's a lot of them. Wow. But yeah. I like have you ever used it before? No. I don't know. I'm intimidated and it just sounds expensive and out of reach. But good thing to know. They make imitation gold leaf. Hey, okay. So I can you do that. don't have to like buy the twenty four carat. Okay. You know. Unless you're decorating like the Sistine Chapel or something. Yeah. As a matter of fact, if you're just doing it as like a hobby or you're learning, I would recommend getting the imitation gold leaf instead yeah, of dropping. Just... It's not as expensive as you would think it is. Although it's interesting, prices fluctuate. Okay, like gold. Yeah. Like gold. So when gold is worth more, gold leaf is more expensive. It's very interesting. So does it make your art worth more if you put some gold leaf up Probably in there? Probably not. Oh, okay. Jerks. <laughs> if, man, if only. Yeah. <laughs> if fucking only. No, but I've used it a few times. I one time, the first time I used it, I did a project for my brother's. I had these big windows that I had like self. Somebody threw away like at our old townhouse when we moved, when we were moving here, they had thrown away like big windows, like the weighted windows out of old houses. Oh, cool. Yeah. And I was like, I could paint some shit on those. Yeah. I'm taking them. So I still have some in my garage that I've been trying to sell now because I've used a few of them and now I'm like, all right. Yeah. Maybe I shouldn't have hoarded all of those. My husband was somebody. He's like, are we fucking moving with garbage that you dug out of the garbage when we're throwing garbage <laughs> away that you didn't? Because you can make recycle art with it. Whatever. Right? Yeah. I'm like, whatever. We're, we're moving to a place with a garage. Yeah. 
So I was planning ahead. For the garbage. That's why our garage is so full. <laughs> garage for the garbage. <laughs> uh, so I did this big family tree for my brothers one year for Christmas. And I drew the tree and then I had it blown up really big and like printed off big enough to fit in these windows. And then you're doing it. I almost yawned. <laughs> I know. My was nostrils of, flared. But it made me want to. Um, <laughs> that was weird that it didn't come. Oh, mine, mine never happened. It was like, that was weird. That was weird, but I knew it was coming. So now I'm like, oh man. Sorry. But then I put silver leaf over the, like I had, I glued the tree. Well, that was the original plan. Mm-hmm. Actually, I ended up having to do it on, on paperboard and then like, anyway. What I did was I wanted to make it, the glass look like a mirror because if you do silver leaf on the back side of a piece of glass, it makes it look like an old antique. Oh, yeah. Like the old mirrors that are like not super reflective anymore. Yeah, I have one of those. I did that project. I learned a lot doing it because it was kind of a shit show. Because in, in true Katie form, I just was like, oh, I can do that. And I didn't actually know how to do it. So I've yeah, I've done those things before. Yeah. And it was for some reason before it had occurred to me to look up tutorials on YouTube. Was that before YouTube? No. Oh, okay. God no, because how old's YouTube? It's been around forever. Okay. Although I do feel like then not forever. Because that was like seven years ago. Okay. So I do feel like there weren't as many tutorials and stuff. Yeah, it didn't occur to me YouTube until it feels like recently to like I mean, it's been a few years, from, but yeah, that's kind of my go-to now. I know. I'm like, actually, I tried to watch videos about this last night. I'm just gonna put this out there: people who make fucking tutorial videos about gold leaf or metal leaf, fucking stop being so boring. Is it? Like, I almost oh. fell asleep. Oh, man. It's yeah, like sometimes the, that group torturous. of people that do it professionally are boring motherfuckers. <laughs> they're like, first. Oh, my God. This one guy has, like, talked know. forever about it. And I was like, because you have to, I'll get more into the process towards well, you the want end him to this. just get down to business. But, yeah, and they're well, just and explaining like, the history. So of... you have to let the glue get tacky before you put the, like, you can't just put the stuff on there. It has to reach a certain tackiness. The sizing for it. Okay. Some of it takes overnight. Some of it's like three hour. So he just filmed it overnight. (laughs) I swear. (laughs) I thought he was fucking going to just talk until it was tacky. And he was kind of monotone. Oh, no. And it had really bad sound. Oh, So you could. He was monotone and very, very quietly spoken. (laughs) And I'm like. Whoa. Did you leave a rude comment? No, I never do that. But <laughs> I do. Good job. Good job. Yeah. Or you could leave a pot like I hey, stop maybe the next video. Time, I never or we comment. We can't hear you. I don't know something. I don't comment on anything, and I don't read comments on anything. This is my new like a plan for internet sanity. <laughs> Good job. This is how I stay sane. Because when I read internet com- like comment threads on anything, I always end up furious because people are fucking idiots. Yeah. And they're rude. Also, I don't understand why people have to be so mean. I know. Like, I don't understand I don't either. get that. I am not a mean person. And my feelings are always, like, deeply wounded when people are mean to me. Like, when people say mean things for no reason just to be mean. I have mean tendencies, but I try to keep them in check. I don't. Really? I really, really don't. Like, you don't have, like, mean thoughts sometimes? I have mean thoughts, but I would never fucking say them out loud to right, someone right. I didn't know. Yeah. Like, yeah. I just wouldn't oh, do that. Well, yeah. Well, and yeah. also, I don't have mean thoughts in within the context of, like, people attacking you for your weight or your looks or oh, yeah, anything yeah, like yeah. that. No, like, no, no. I, yeah. I just, it would never occur to me to do that. And when people do that, because it always feels so fucking out of context. Like, you post a video about, you know, how to do, okay, well, just use gold, gold leaf, leaf for an example. And then someone's like, look, you fat fucking bitch. And I'm like, what? Why yeah. is that even necessary? Yeah. Or like, look at your fucking arm fat jiggle while you're doing that. You shouldn't, you shouldn't put yourself on the internet. Why, why do people do the shit like that? Yeah. I don't know. I don't think that the anonymity of the internet has been good for us as a society. Like, mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, I've noticed I have like, I tend to, because I see human beings in this way that we're kind of silly creatures. I mean, we are kind of odd 
creatures. We're fucking weird as fuck. Yeah. And so sometimes I'll notice that in another human being, like, walking down the street or something, and I'll, like, giggle about, you know what I mean? But that's kind of And then like, my kid is like, mom, like a, no, you that's know, like, and I'm like, well, I I'm feel like sorry, it's a that joyous was so... celebration of other of people's oddities. Our, yeah, because we are odd. Because I'm a weird motherfucker. <laughs> I just <laughs> am. So... But then I feel like maybe that's me. My kid one time was like, mom, geez. And then I was like, oh, I guess that is kind of mean. But I wasn't meaning it. But I don't think that that you're laughing at that person. Something I'll notice something odd about them and think it's, you know, I don't know. You're finding joy in them. Yes. (laughs) Like, uh, yeah. I don't know. No, I just don't get like, (laughs) like, also, okay, we're totally having a sidebar rant. But that's okay, (laughs) because that's kind of what we do. Um, So someone posted a story the other day about how the city of Portland is what they're trying to do is if you are homeless in the city of Portland and you can prove that you have a family and support system somewhere else that will help you, but you're stuck in Portland because you can't, you don't have the money to leave. Uh, yeah, yeah. They will buy you a one way bus ticket. It's okay. a new program okay. that they're trying to start. So, which is, I have to say, much better than what other cities do, which is why Portland ends up with such a homeless problem, because cities in California buy their homeless, and especially people that they have, um, what do you call it when you check out of the release from mental hospitals mm-hmm. that have nowhere to go? Mm-hmm. They send them here with a one-way bus ticket just to live on the fucking street. They don't care what happens to them afterward. Wow. But so people read the headline of that article, which was like, oh man, Portland to buy it didn't have yes. the details. Yes. Basically, it was like Portland's buying homeless people one way bus oh tickets my gosh, out of town. And everybody's panties so went up their butt. There huh? are like these fucking vitriolic rants in the comments. And I'm like, idiot, Did you read, the article? read the fucking yeah. article, you yeah. dumb fuck. But I can't, al- I don't allow myself to participate in conversations like that because yeah. it gets my blood pressure up. Mm-hmm. It makes me angry and not like people. Mm-hmm. So I just. Don't read comments anymore. Yeah. Because people are fucking stupid. I know. And no matter what, how much truth you give them, they don't believe it and they're stuck in their Mm -hmm. mindset. And it's. uh... That is honestly part of what took me so long to actually bite the bullet and start doing this podcast. Yeah. Because I was so afraid of the that people were going to be mean. Yeah. Jerks to me because people are out there. Yeah. But so far, knock on wood, we haven't had a lot of assholes listening to our podcast. Yay. Or if assholes do listen, they just move on to the next Yeah, whatever, they don't. So, which is great. Take the time to, yeah, pee on us or anything. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, assholes who happen upon our podcast for not being assholes to us. Yeah. Just going to be an so asshole. So that, doesn't, that means the they're not an asshole. That's true. Yeah. Because they didn't. You know, because you can not like things. and Well, see, that's just it. I don't understand why people have to voice the fact that they dislike things. Yeah. Just don't like them. Exactly. I know. And I know I felt like that was a big that's a big trend or something. Like, it is. look at me not liking this. Aren't I cool or whatever? It's yeah. like, no, no, you're kind of a killjoy. Because I like <laughs> that. And, and for some reason. And and what's funny is it hurts my feelings if someone doesn't like something I that I like. I'm trying to break myself it. of that. I know. Because it's like, wait, it's not personal. Like, mm-hmm. they don't mean because I've gotten into dumb arguments with my friend over music and he, you know, he talks about some bands being overrated oh, and I'm people like, kind of douchey about their like, I'm like music. Shut case. up. You know what I, mean? I get all like defensive. It's I funny. have a friend who <laughs> is kind of a dick about music and this person is a real, uh, pretentious asshole about their musical <laughs> yes, taste. They like are. to tell it you. And so this person upset. likes to tell me how, uh, you're so lame for so, liking yeah. that. And like what they like is so much better and so much more like, complex all those... and so much nicer to listen. Like, and I'm like, really? Because it sounds like garbage music to me. Like, I like a happy beat where I can be carefree and fuck off if you think that Foo Fighters are stupid. I know, right? Suck my butthole. Right. Or like all those Nickelback fans that are in the closet now because okay. if they, if, I, I know, I know, say, I know, but so, I am not a Nickelback I'm fan. Not either. I'm but not either. I also don't but understand. They get a lot how... of shit. Yeah, I don't understand how shit. Nickelback became this like so now you have standard to be in the for if you like, like the, yeah, for, like bad band. I even yeah, saw like the poster child. I of even the saw horrible a meme band. the other day where it was like Bernie Sanders <laughs> holding a piece of paper and it said Bernie 2016 
or something. And then it said Trump likes Nickelback. <laughs> <laughs> that might work. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> it made me laugh really hard. I just thought it was stupid, but it was funny. It was so on point. Especially because Bernie so Sanders has what, like that cute little old man smile. <laughs> and he was doing the cute little old man smile. <laughs> it was so it was funny. It was hilarious. I, I laughed so that. hard. Oh my gosh, I have to find that. <sighs> that was good. That was good. But... <laughs> okay, we got to bring this rant know, back sorry, whoops. around. Whoops. But I don't even know how we started off. <laughs> Tutorial <laughs> videos. Yeah, and just, you didn't make a mean no, comment. No, and there are some that deserve me. And I'm just going to put this out there. But maybe you could make a helpful comment. Like, I wish I could have heard you better. or so, I don't know. Well, that well, would that sound would be, mean. No. I no, I, here's the thing. <laughs> it doesn't matter how you paint it because this is the danger <laughs> with texting or That's commenting true. on That's anything true. is no one can really gauge the context that you've put it in. Yeah. I think that you should invent fonts that represent, <laughs> like the sarcasm a, that font. represent a tone. Yes. Yeah. Like or the sarcasm font honest, or the angry font. taunt or the, I don't know, Conti McFuckface font. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah. like we should have standard font. fonts. Like the troll font. Thank <laughs> yeah. you. Troll is much better than Conti McFuckface. <laughs> <laughs> but, <laughs> oh my god the Bodie McBoat face thing <laughs> what? did you see that there's some contest to name some research boat and they ask the interwebs for help and that's what you get when you ask the interwebs for help oh was because, that in England yeah because Bodie okay. McBoat face won <laughs> <laughs> my friend from and it sounds like something England. that my husband and I named <laughs> my friend in England posted a hey, picture of the quit eating garbage you weirdo <laughs> Like the commuter train in Britain, and and that said, "Trainy McTrain face," and he was like, and I was like, "What? I didn't get it, but now I get it. That's hilarious." So somebody is like renamed <laughs> animals, like in this vein, and I also saw a thing the other day that was like, they called a snake a danger noodle. <laughs> <laughs> they laughed so hard. And then an alligator. There was a picture of alligator that said American murder log. <laughs> Sorry, Lonnie and I haven't actually hung out in a couple of weeks. I know, so. I missed you. I know. <laughs> so, and we uh. we kind of got started as soon as she got here, so we haven't had time to catch up on our yeah giggles yeah <laughs> that we normally do. So anyway, <laughs> gold. Leaf. I would never gold leaf an alligator. <laughs> no, <laughs> or a snake. That's not recommended. No. Oh my god. Read the directions. Can you hear my dog cacking up garbage over there in the corner? No. Hey, dickhead. <laughs> He's. He misbehaves to show off for a lot. Because mm-hmm. so, all day long, he's like a lump on a log. I'm a bad influence. He just loves you. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't even know where we were with the gold leaf. So let's just start fucking talking about it. Yeah, because I've completely there are tutorials. lost track. There are tutorials out there. They are boring. Just to warn you. Yes. That's the point that I was yeah. making. Yes. Is I didn't watch all of them because it was getting late and I burned my rice pudding <laughs> Because I forgot it was in the oven. Well, I bought stuff to make rice pudding. I'm so excited. We had, I made stir fry last night. So I used the leftover rice mm. and made my husband rice pudding because he likes it. So yeah. I didn't burn it, but it's awfully close to burn. Do you like it? Because you don't like tapioca. I don't like rice pudding. I made okay, it for my okay. husband. My so, husband yeah. likes rice pudding. My husband likes bread pudding. My husband likes tapioca. All of it hits this weird gaggy slime yeah, spot for me that, that I yeah. just can't. It's a texture. That's... It hits the okra button. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which is immediately. <laughs> Sends it right back up. <laughs> Don't like it. People have been using metal leaf or gold leaf, especially for like centuries, centuries. right? Because it's fucking Egyptians figured out that you could hammer gold into sheets thinner than hair. And then they started putting that shit on everything. Yeah. They and really I put that shit on everything. It was to help the aliens, right? I don't know. <laughs> Don't even get me fucking started with that because my brother, I spent last weekend with my brother and he, everything's an alien conspiracy mm. theory. He watches that show with the guy with the crazy hair. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ancient aliens. Yes. So the Egyptians put it on everything. Mm-hmm. Everything was gold. But yeah, you can put it on beautiful. everything. Like it, you can find it on illuminated manuscripts, which are beautiful, like the Book of Kells oh, and all these like old yeah. religious texts. They use it in temples. 
So you can attach it to paper? You can attach it. Yeah, that's how you get gilded books. Oh. The pages that have the um, the gold on the sides. That's leafing. Wow. When done correctly. Not when done like I did it the other day with gold paint. How do you paint. separate the pages? Yeah. It's Does a it process. Stick all the- okay. Um, you can also typically find it on picture frames and molding. Mm-hmm. And people put it on bone, wood, leather, fabric, jewelry. Like you can take old shitty jewelry and make it awesome gold jewelry again you know wow well, Lonnie just had an idea I can see, well, yeah, I I see this, the light bulb go Ting! I have this cheap octopus necklace that I wish I love your cheap octopus necklace it's, you could put silver leaf on that shit okay because I want it to be shiny again I mean it's okay it's looking all old and copperish now do you have a now. silver cloth oh no is it like wearing the finish is wearing off yeah perfect candidate yeah because I feel like it's going to do weird things to my skin or something. Meh. I mean, I don't know. I do love that necklace, by the way. I haven't seen I'm, you wear it in a while. I know, because it broke and it's, yeah. Oh, we need to fix that shit up. I know. Leaf it. Leaf it. So, it also, speaking of that, it comes in gold leaf. And the gold comes in different, what would you say, mm. carrots? Like, purities. I guess that's what carrot okay. is. Yeah. So, you can get 24 or you can get whatever. It goes on down the line, and you can get imitation gold as well. You can get silver leaf, which isn't... I don't know that it's actual real silver. Might be. But it's... Maybe it but comes it in silver. But it seems like silver would be more difficult, because it's not as soft It's a harder metal, yeah. yeah. So it's probably some kind of alloy that's mm-hmm. just silver. Um, you can get a copper, aluminum. They have a thing called Dutch leaf, which is an alloy of zinc, and it's kind of a... Almost a white goldy. It's like a real Ooh. pale gold color. Um, you can also get it in like um, they make rose gold leaf, like in the pure gold leaves. And I have a couple of resources where you can buy it. I also just recommend like if you're just, I use Speedball brand. It's Mona Lisa. It's a pretty affordable. Where do you get it? You can get the Speedball brand at any art supply store. Okay. You can order it on Amazon. I get it at sometimes joanne's has it michael's usually almost always has it you can get it from blake jerry's okay. artorama what? like i know this is weird what section is it going to be in like jewelry or like no it will be like probably where you find like the paint finishes and surfaces okay. or stuff like that okay okay so it depends on the yeah, store that's true i have to ask but yeah you'd have to ask and it also comes in a really pretty variegated color which oh, is kind of like a metallic like a rainbow um, yeah it's like metallic oil slick like that ah. when you see an oil slick that's really pretty yeah so um but it's just traditionally so then it comes you can get the metal leaf in different forms mm-hmm. so the most common that you're going to find are the sheets and they come in a little booklet like a little square booklet of them and they're It's so thin. Like, it's so thin, it's insane. It seems impossible. And it is attached to tissue paper just from static cling alone. It also comes in the same thin sheet-like form on tape rolls. Oh, okay. Like, it's it's on a roll. It's not actual tape, but it comes yeah. on a roll. So, so and I think it would it probably... Yeah, and it's yeah. on a one continuous loop. And I think that that would probably be for, like, if you were doing a lot of picture frames... Or something oh, in a yeah, small yeah. or molding something in a long skinny strip. It would probably be really convenient just to roll it out and do it in sections, but have it on this continuous roll. Mm-hmm. Um, I've actually never seen it in the stores on the rolls, but I know that there are bigger suppliers that are like more professional suppliers that have that option. So, does it come in different like textures? Like it. <laughs> Because sometimes I feel like I see gold leaf that looks like it's got, like, holes in it. No, that's just the matter of application. Okay, okay. So, um, and it also comes in flake. So you can buy containers of flake, but also, here's a tip. If you're using gold and silver leaves, you're going to have little bits left over that Mm. that hang around the edges. You can save those. And that's the flake. So you can just pick the flake up with a brush and put it on too. Because it's expensive. You don't want to waste it. Yeah, yeah. So, but you can also buy the flake. And and what that is, is big manufacturers have the off-shaped pieces, Mm kind of like their rejects, that they just kind of crumple up and make flake. And then it comes in a powder form. And it also comes in a paste form. 
I'm going to talk about the paste form in a minute. Wow. So. So you would use it kind of like glitter? Kind of. It just rubs onto. Yeah. The. Um, the adhesive. Right. Yes. Now that you know, you've got all your metal leaf types and everything. You also, there's adhesive for it that's called sizing. Oh, okay. So it comes, there's different kinds of sizing because, and depending on what it, they have some that's oil-based that I think dries a little bit faster. So that's often referred to as three-hour sizing, meaning that, like, it takes three hours to reach the tech. 